Okay, so this is then the particle model 100% um, test um, or fact test. First thing is we need to describe the particle arrangement. So we've got solid, liquids and gases. The strength of the force of attraction between the particles is very strong. The strength of the force of attraction between the particles for liquids is strong, but it's not quite as strong as the solids. And for the gas, it's very weak. The arrangement of the particles in the solid are regular, right? They're in nice lines. The arrangement of particles in a liquid are random, but close together. The arrangements in a part in a gas, sorry, are random and far apart. The packing, right? So how they're actually sort of packed into something. In a solid, they are very close. In a liquid, they're close, but what they do is they do have little gaps in between them. And then the gas, I'm just going to put down here, the particles are random, and what they're doing all the time is they're moving in straight lines. Solid, the motion, what a solid is doing is it vibrates in a fixed position. In a liquid, what they do is they kind of slide randomly over each other. So it's just like a constant motion that's kind of going on, but not too dramatic. And in a gas, they are far apart. Uh, and basically what they're doing is they're moving in a straight line again. Number two, right? This diagram here looks a bit blank, right? Draw and label the diagram for the states of matter. So what I'm going to do, start off with, I'm going to put gas, liquid, solid. Okay, think about water. Solid to a liquid, melting. Liquid to a gas, evaporation. Gas to a liquid, condensation. Liquid to a solid, freezing. Solid all the way to a gas, it's kind of a weird word really, is sublimation. Best example of that is carbon dioxide. You can get carbon dioxide as a solid and it misses out the liquid phase and goes straight to gas. Gas to a solid, the opposite, is called deposition. Okay. Number three, what is the equation for density? Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to write down density equals mass divided by volume. Now with that, I'm not putting any units in because mass could be kilograms, grams, volume could be centimeter cubed, meters cubed. Draw a heating and cooling graph. What I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a line there, I'm going to draw a line across, I'm going to draw a line there, I'm going to draw a line across, and I'm going to draw a line there. At that point there, that part of the line is a solid. That point there, there's a gas, that point there, oh sorry, wrong way around, what am I doing? That there is a liquid, and that there is a gas. Okay, so it's going from a solid to a liquid, so if it's going in that direction, it is melting. If it's going from a liquid to a solid, it is freezing. If it goes from a liquid to a gas, going that way, it is evaporation. If it goes from a gas to a liquid, going like that, it is condensation. Okay, and obviously yours need to be neater than mine. Number five, what is the specific heat capacity and three things to depend on? Specific heat capacity is the energy needed, could write required, to raise one kg of substance by one degree C. Okay, so energies in joules, we've got kilogram of substance and we've got degree C. What does it depend on? It depends on the mass of substance that's present. 
It also depends on what the substance is and it also depends on the energy put in. Question number six. Right now, what these do is these words all look very similar and sound very similar. What is specific latent heat? Specific latent heat of fusion, specific latent heat of vaporization. Right? So the specific latent heat is the energy needed to change one kilogram of substances. state of matter. Okay, now it's not specific about what state of matter it is, whether it's solid, liquid, liquid gas, whatever it may well be. The specific latent heat of fusion is the energy needed to change, sounds very similar doesn't it, one kg of substance from a solid to a liquid. Okay, so fusion is solid to a liquid. But then another key point is there is no temperature change. So if we look at that graph that we just drew, this part here, that is the specific latent heat of fusion. So it goes from a solid to a liquid, but then there is no temperature change because it's flat. Specific latent heat of vaporization is the energy needed to change one kg of substance from a liquid to a solid uh, to a gas. And again, there is no temperature change. Okay, so on your graph, that's this, that line there. What is the internal en energy and what happens to the internal energy when you heat the system? Internal energy is the energy stored in a system. Internal energy is the total kinetic and potential energy in your system. If you heat it or heat anything, right, then what can happen is you can get a change of state. You can get an increase in temperature. And you can get an increase in kinetic energy. Okay, so that's like the movement energy. So if you heat something, they're going to move more. The final part of this then is some uh, keywords. Okay, so changing from vapor state to liquid, right, when it's cooled, is condensation. Changing from a liquid to a vapour, because that's the opposite, is evaporation. Changing from a liquid state to a solid is freezing. Energy stored by atoms and molecules that make up a system is equal to the sum of the total kinetic and potential energies, is the internal energy. The energy required for a substance to change state is the latent heat. The changing from a solid to a liquid state when a substance is heated, solid to liquid, is melting. The amount of energy needed to increase the temperature of one kilogram of substance, so one kilogram by one degree C, is the specific, I'm sorry, I'm going to be lazy, heat capacity. The amount of energy needed to change the state of one kilogram of substance from a solid to a liquid at a constant temperature is the specific latent heat of fusion. 
energy needed, staying one kilogram substance from a liquid to a vapor, constant temperature, specific latent heat of vaporization. 15. The amount of energy needed to change the state of one kilogram of substance while held is the specific latent heat. The direct changing of substance from a solid to a vapor without passing through the liquid is sublimation.